Oh, oh, hey! How's it going, everybody? Danny Makaba here with another fine episode of I Suck Sticks. Episode 13, in fact. Bit of an unlucky number for some, but not for the wrestlers here at I Suck Sticks. Certainly not myself. Although, now that I've said that, I guess a bit of an unlucky number for Drew Sarian. As you saw last week, he was on the receiving end of kind of a nasty attack by, I guess, a new faction here? Fur and Loathing. I'm not sure about that as a name, but... Scott Henson and Special K, obviously they've got something on their minds. I'm really not sure what's going on there, but what I am sure of is the tag match, you know, the big tag match coming up at WrestleMania. Scott Henson and Special K versus uh, Yak J and Drew Sarian. I mean, that's in a bit of, um, you know, one quarter of the equation is out of the picture. Drew Sarian, I've heard from his doctors, they say he's out for at least two weeks, maybe longer, who knows, you know, hopefully not longer, but... I mean, Yax J is without a partner, and there's really nothing I can do about it. Uh, the match is set in stone, contracts have been signed, they've, um, you know, brands have been etched into people's arms, I will be wrestling on this particular date. Um, so really, it, I mean, the onus is on Yax J to try and find a partner, and hopefully he can, because, I mean, it's, it's a big show coming up, and, you know, we want, we want to make sure things go smoothly. Speaking of big shows, psych. You can't have a big show without the title defense. Champion of men, fighting and grappling. Psych, his first title defense coming up at WrestleMania. You know, he's sort of been, well, let's say, selective about his opponents. Uh, you know, not really thinking that the competition here in I Suck Sticks has been up to snuff. So, you know, I figured I, my job as Chief Executive Officer of Matchmaking and Baked Goods is to make some matches and make the matches that you, the people, want to see. So I traveled all over the world. I, I did some networking. I did some social networking, you know, because us here at I Suck Sticks, we're ahead of the curve as far as technology goes. I was checking out my Friendster, and uh, I was on the ICQ. I was uh, instant messaging people, and I was on um, eHarmony. You should have seen some of the messages I got on that website. Regardless, I tracked down the guy, the right guy for the match. You know, he's uh, a well-seasoned, well-traveled, has won titles in multiple continents, You'll know him from TVW, YWF, and even at VCW vs. World 6, he made his Super Show debut as far as this continent goes. He's fast, he's scientific, a technical marvel, Australia's greatest, Ty. Now, tell me if that's not the match you want to see. Ty, bring his style, Psych, bring his style. I can only imagine what's going to happen in the ring. And it's all going to go down at WrestleMania next week. The granddaddy of them all. I mean, it's time to get excited, folks. That's what this week's all about. Show 13 is here to hype you up for WrestleMania. We got your access. We got your Hall of Fame. I think Dr. Rump's getting inducted, or I'm not even sure. We might have a match. Um, uh, don't hold me to that one, but there's uh, something. You're going to hear from your favorite I Sucks Dicks wrestlers talking about their belts and their gear and the ring and all sorts of things you're probably not allowed to say on other wrestling shows, but you can certainly say it here. So get hyped, get excited. As you can tell, I'm hyped and excited. Next week, WrestleMania, don't you dare miss it. Hey, Psych. I, look, I'm sorry to disturb you during your uh, morning preparations here. Uh, I'm in a bit of a bind right now. I need a tag partner for my tag match and the big show coming up. And there is nobody right now who can help me out more than you. Look, you're the champion. You know how to win. I think we can do it together here. So I'm asking you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I know you have a title match on the show. Can you please find some room to work with me on the show? This, this isn't going to work, is it? <sighs> Thanks anyway. So I bet you're all wondering why the things went down the way they went down with us, and Yakuza J, and Drew Sarian, and all that. So I don't want to keep you guys in the dark anymore. I want to tell you exactly what's up, so you know where I'm coming from, and you know where my friend here is coming from, and we can just get everything out in the open. 
started by Alan Creasy of all people, and believe you me, I expected at least, least of all of anyone. Alan Creasy set me straight by basically ruining my life in this promotion from day one and screwing me over again and again, costing me matches, costing me title matches. And I, I basically boiled over and exploded and I had a, I, and he even, he, his end game was, he wanted that match with me and he wanted to fight me and maybe he even wanted me to get as violent as I did and to beat him up the way I did and win the match. I don't know if winning the match was his end game. I think he wanted, in a way, to take that mask off and, and teach me, basically. And he said what he wanted to teach me and it was real simple. He's been watching me underachieve three years since he left BCW. And he's been watching me underachieve because I've been out there trying to be the nice guy, trying to do the right thing, and what's it done for me? Nothing. So what did he tell me? He told me to just embrace the fact that cats are jerks. And I think I've just been in denial for my whole life, I would say. Like, I don't know, do you, put yourself in my position. Do you think I had an easy go of it in elementary school and high school? Do you think I got called pussy a lot? Do you think I got called that every day? Do you think that didn't mess me up a little bit? You know, I started wrestling over 10 years ago. And for the first five years of my career, I literally had to tuck my tail between my legs because I didn't, I didn't want anyone getting on my case about what I am, basically. Then five or so years ago, I got a little more confident. I started showing myself a little more. And, and it was okay, but I think, and I had some success, but I think I had success in spite of what I am and not because of what I am. And I don't think anyone ever really got what I am. You know, I am what I am. I, sa I said it on show three, if you were paying attention. I said, I don't know if a lot of people respect me. I am half human, half tiger, have been ever since that fateful day in late 1982 when my father put his human penis in my mother's tiger vagina. <laughs> and that's how I am now. And you know what? I tagged with the Accuser J for a long time. We had success and we did well, but, and, and we got along in wrestling, but I think we only got along in wrestling. I don't think we got along on a personal level. I don't think he got me. I don't think he respected me at all. I think that's become abundantly clear in recent weeks. They didn't respect me. Tell me I'm wearing a cat suit. It's not a fucking cat suit, you actors of Jay. So, you know, I, I, I know what I am now. I've all, I truly have always known what I am. I know you're going to know what I am. I'm going to pass it off to my friend here now, and he's going to tell you what's up. You know, Scott talked a lot about denial. That's something I know all too well. I've been getting a lot of uh, emails and phone calls and people just asking why. What, what happened to you? Special K, you know, what's with the sudden change in you? And the thing is, is that to me, that change isn't really so sudden because ever since I can remember, there's always been something inside me, something that has always been clawing to get out. And I always have been that person who's never wanted to hurt anybody. So I kept it in as hard as I could. And uh, it was hard. It was really hard. Uh, 
You don't know what it's like keeping yourself locked up, afraid to go outside. In the middle of the night, you're afraid you're going to hurt someone. You're afraid that people are going to look at you like a freak. So I did what I had to do, and I just decided I'm going to hold it in, and I'm going to be, I'm going to be a nice guy. You know, I'm going to be the way people want you to be. And it, it seemed to work for a while. Um, it seemed to work. But then I kind of realized at some point that being the nice guy just, just doesn't work sometimes. And after my match, the psych, I realized that it's gotten me absolutely nowhere. And I realized that all those things I held back on. I never should have, because if I didn't, I'd be at the fucking top right now. But instead, I just got pushed aside. So now, I'm going to be the one thing that everyone was afraid of. Thing that I was afraid to be, but now I have embraced it. And you know what? I don't want people walking around calling me Special K anymore. Okay, Special K. That's a fucking name that you people gave me. It's a weak, squishy, fleshy name. That I don't want anymore. So from now on, you can call me by my real name. And that will be Caden Talbaby. You know what? As you can tell, we have a lot in common. A lot that we don't have in common with anyone else on this roster. And probably any of you up there. And, uh, we're going to make that abundantly clear to everyone by eviscerating this entire roster, starting at the pay-per-view. Hey, Zeus, uh...
I don't want to see anything. Oh, no. Look, I need, I need your help. I need your help. I don't have a tag partner for the big show coming up, and I was hoping you could maybe help me out. You know, you're a good guy. I'm a good guy. You want to wear technicals. We can take on the Rudos, you know, uh, fight them off. Tag, victory. We can do it. You and me. Come on. What do you say? No, I can't. I can't. Please, come on. At least, at least think about it a little bit. Please. I, I, know, I know I'm interrupting you in the middle of your clean session here, but... Please, can you can you can you help? Can you at least think? Do you even understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? English? Do you speak it? Anything? No. I need a more pint on. This is going to be fine. Any thoughts about Wrestlemania? Give me the goddamn mic! What are my thoughts about Wrestlemania? This is my first fucking Wrestlemania! Zeus McFly! Wrestlemania! These fists! Registered sex offenders! I'm out! This is, this is it. This is my last chance. I... Let's see what he says. Hey, Dan. Hey, man. How's it going? It's rough out there. You saw what happened last show. Yeah. You booked the match, and then, and then all this, all this craziness happens. I, I, I'm sorry, man. I, I, I don't know what I can, I can do. You know, it really, I wasn't planning on Drew getting hurt, and you know. I know none of us were, but look, I know we've been through a lot over the years. I know you've been through a lot over the years. Yeah. But I'm desperate right now, man. I've talked to everybody on the roster. I've talked to people who aren't on the roster, and I can't get anybody to help me out here. Uh, yeah, it's. I mean, everyone's kind of booked up. Uh, what What are you What are you looking for? I don't know what, what I can do. I know this is a lot to ask for out of you. Do you think you could lace them up again? Let's uh, Let's walk. Let's talk. Let's. All right. <sighs> Lacing them up again. Yeah, I I know I know it. You've been out of it for so long, and this is. Why? It, uh, I mean, it's been close to a year, man. I, I don't know. I don't know if I have another match in me, honestly. You know, it's like riding a bike. You, w once you learn to do it, you never lose it. You never really lose it. You know what? I, I, I'm inclined to believe you, but my back is not, you know, it's not what it should be. It's not... You heard what they said up there. This, I, is, my, this is my death warrant. I know it. <sighs> Look, please, at the very least, can you consider it for me? At the very least. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll consider it for you, man. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Let me know when you can. Yeah, for sure. Thanks. Let's 
sort of make sure. Yeah, more than that. We're next, just like make sure.